There has been this constant thing about you that it's very tough yeah. to work with you. I'm a very straightforward person. हमारी जिंदगी में संघर्ष लिया है हमारे बच्चे मस्ती करेंगे यू वर आल्सो वेरी नोटोरियस और इन फेमस फॉर बीइंग यू नो फाइटिंग विद द इन्वेस्टर्स और इन्वेस्टर इन्वेस्टर होता है उसको अपना देखनी है ऑनटरप्रेन्योर ऑनटरप्रेन्योर रोंटो को अपनी देखनी है आई वेंट टू कोटा 2 साल पहली बार घर से बाहर निकला था और वहां जाके इतनी मस्ती करी प्रायोरिटी नहीं हुआ अगर लड़कियां क्रिकेट मैच जीत सकती हैं तो फैक्ट्री में क्यों नहीं काम कर सकती यू हैव बीन रिटन ऑफ मेनी मेनी टाइम्स By the way, I heard that Bhavish ka matlab to future hota. Haan. And were you born in Kabul or what? I was actually. You were born in Kabul. <laughs> uh, I, my parents were in Kabul. Yeah, he uh, was uh, deputed. Haan. Your father uh, was. My father uh, was there. Uh, so I was uh, conceived in Kabul. Ah. For my delivery for that week, my mom came to Chandigarh because they didn't want uh, me to be uh, delivered in Kabul. But then she went back to Kabul. So for the first two years of my life, I was in Kabul. I also heard that you're a little bit like your father. Well, uh, yes, in many ways. And, and little uh, bit like, of course, you'll be like your parents. Uh, I'll be like my parents, but I, I, you know, I think one of the people who has had a big impact on my life, like all of us, is yeah. my father. Right, my father is a very uh, adventurous person. Uh, he's a very uh, goal-oriented person. He's built uh, something uh, with his own life. He came yeah. from very lower middle-class family. My grandfather was a government engineer. and my father uh, became one of the most uh, well respected orthopedic surgeons in the country so he built a very good career for himself but he was a professional most of his yeah. life uh but you know he pretty much instilled in me like ke mehnat se sab kuch ho sakta hai wo jo iit ke liye prep ek saal jo maine drop kiya wo kamre mein band mere papa ne kiya tha mujhe 2010 mein jo humne shuru kiya ola uh, that was very early the indian ecosystem also yes. was startup ecosystem was pretty much nascent at that time a 24 year old trying to build a what looked like a taxi business uh, people were not willing to fund and luckily i got some uh, interest in you know some good souls who gave me some angel money to pehla angel round humne kiya tha 40 lakh rupaye ka and mujhe laga ke bas aaj ke baad aur paise ki zarurat nahi padegi zindagi mein that's how that's how naive uh, yes, first time entrepreneur yes, is yes, a 24 yes, year old yes and uh, so but since then uh, we were lucky to have always people believing in our in our story and our journey and also seeing the success and more and more people coming on board har bande ka apna ek purpose and dharm hota hai right yeah. like everybody has their own journey in life and uh, somebody else might be different i am different i am third person might be his own or yeah. her own self right so i think what is most important is for you to just recognize who you are and just be true to yourself yeah and i think over the years uh, I, because i just i feel i'm fairly uh, ओपन एंड ऑनेस्ट विद माई सेल्फ कि मैं मैं क्या कर पाता हूँ मैं क्या नहीं कर पाता हूँ क्या मेरे को सीखना है क्या मेरे को नहीं करना है एंड ओवर द ईयर्स आई बीन एबल टू जस्ट शार्पन अप माई माई ओन सेल्फ इट फील वेरी नाइस टू सी इंडिया फ्लैग हाँ फ्लैग आउटसाइड हमने जब लगाया ना वो श्रद्धा तो मैंने सोशल मीडिया पर डाला ट्विटर पर बहुत लोगों ने कहा क्यों डाल रहा है फ्लैग क्यों बट क्यों नहीं हाँ इट कम्स फ्रॉम सम लेवल ऑफ patriotism and maybe some level of ego but kyun nahi the flag is a symbolism of our country and yes. that is the purpose for which all of us work right and all of us want to find self success in the country success yes right it, it's i'm not trying to be fake and say i'm doing uh, you know only for the country obviously i'm it's, it's all in the country's narrative and also my own self success is in that narrative you know i was surprised two days back again i was listening someone was saying oh we will have more googles and all that created out of why <laughs> you know growing up we were very uh, influenced by the west but i feel that is changing now i feel as uh, more and more indian successes are yes. happening uh it is changing people are uh, indexing towards uh, even learning about our past in- including me abhi what uh, what i do is every quarter tvg and i tvg is my mentor and like a grandfather figure he and i travel to uh, one part of india which is about our history like last quarter we went to nalanda Oh. and uh, nalanda is in uh, bihar yeah, yes. uh, to hum gaya gaye gaya se rajgir gaye rajgir wow. se nalanda wahan pe nayi university khuli hai so nayi university mein i interacted with the students also uh, and then we went to the ruins uh, and it is just you realize how little you know about our past yeah. like at least uh, i don't know enough about our past and the more we know about our history the more we will be able to 
find pride and uh, respect for ourselves and be able to build a stronger future for ourselves. Building new technologies, building new businesses, as well as realizing what our civilization was and what its true ethos is and taking it forward is what uh, we all are doing in our own ways. What do you have to say about work-life balance? <laughs> I, I don't think work-life balance uh, is the right construct. You know, and uh, again, it's a contrarian view. There will be people who will uh, disagree with me. Uh, many people will disagree with me. But I, I believe, uh, let me actually take a historical perspective first. Okay. Okay? And then I'll tell you what I think, I, what I live by, the mm. philosophy I live by. This Saturday, Sunday ka is not an Indian uh, thing. This is a Western thing. In India, we never had Saturdays and Sundays. We had a, the lunar calendar and we had holidays basis that. Right? Okay. Hmm. We had uh, uh, one or two days monthly. We never had Saturdays or Sundays. So this is a Western import, for firstly. <laughs> then, you know, it became a Western cultural import. And then when the Industrial Revolution happened, Saturdays and Sundays became rest days for manual labor. Hmm. That's why Saturdays and Sundays have relevance in the world today. But in the modern age, they have no relevance in my view. And I'm, I'm maybe taking a broader point here. I'm not saying I don't... I also take time off on some Saturdays and Sundays. We have a we See, have a five day week. Some Saturdays and Sundays. But company has a five day week, so yeah. I don't want people to get scared. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, if I look uh, look ahead, you know, look ahead a few decades or one decade or two decades, I don't think uh, work is about five days and then off. Yeah. It's now becoming harmonized. Like it's not like you don't work on a Sunday. Uh, so what I think is the actual thing which people need is work life harmony. People need to have time for uh, personal life. People need to have uh, some break for rejuvenation and uh, refreshment. My hope is that over the next few years as a, as a ecosystem, uh, we develop a different paradigm of work, which is not five days work, two days off, five days work, two days off. We cannot live by the Western rules today because we have to build first, right? Uh, we can be easy once we have built. Yeah. But first we have to build. You creating wealth, you're creating yeah. the wealth for the country mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. What does money mean to you? See, money is very important. Money allows you to live a life which uh, gives you more time to do what you want. Right? Uh, and what you, what I want to do is to create business. Right? Since I was a child, you know, I am a even though my parents are not businessmen. My grandfather was not a businessman. But somehow, I think what those generations skip okay, was gene theme. Always, I wanted to do some business, mm. right? Uh, and not in a uh, uh, transactional sense, but in an impact sense. Always, yeah. I wanted to think, "Is ko aise kaise karu? Is ko naya kaise banau? Kuch nayi technology kaise karu?" Right? So money allows me to do that. You know, life's needs are taken care of. I'm, you know, I'm comfortable, uh, and it allows me to follow my passions. Right? Now, if I want to make another company tomorrow. If I have money, I'll invest my own money. Why do I risk others' money? I'll risk my own money. So that's what money uh, is. And money is also a way of measuring uh, your impact in society. When you were a kid, six, seven year old, uh -huh. and uh, your uh, nani's uh, place is next to Banaras uh -huh. village. In a, in a village. Your mother has uh, uh, shared the story uh, uh, with Raj and with, you know, so is that, uh, that as a kid, it was very hot and you guys were there for your summer vacation. Uh -huh. And you saw the cows and <laughs> yeah, peche, uh, ghar ke peche, uh, yeah. uh, cows the or dekke you asked ki inko garmi lag raha hoga. <laughs> Ye inke liye juta kyun nahi hai? And next time when we come, we should have shoes for the uh, cow. I think uh, Shraddha, in the end, you measure yourself by how you impact people's lives. Yeah. Right. Uh, scale, money, etc. are all input metrics into that broader subjective feeling of how well have you, how deeply have you impacted people's lives, right? Thakaan nahi hai namar adhesh mein. Aspiration hai. People want to, and people believe. Somewhere deep within our society, we have a belief in ourselves. Right? Which is why, you know, our society and our civilization has sustained in, uh, despite all the challenges we faced. Which is a deep belief somewhere within that hum karenge. I think today, in today's India, you just need a dream. You know, if you have a dream, a youngster from anywhere, they can do it. Paisa mil sakta hai, platform mil sakta hai, sab kuch hai. Your story is also extremely important because you've made it possible in spite of so many times a pandemic happened to mm. you. Yes. There were rejections and people believing ki yeah. kya hoga. And rejections the because then Uber was the behemoth yes. and this is the Ola story, right? So, remember when Uber came in India, in 2013, mein aaya tha, tab hamare paas bank mein 3 bank, crore rupees were to nothing uh, to fight a global behemoth like Uber. Yes. And uh, Uber is a, at that time was a very aggressive company uh, run by a very aggressive entrepreneur. Uh, he 
came into India all guns blazing. Uh, obviously, people uh, discounted us at that time. This is 2014 yes. odd era. Uh, but we built. Uh, we were true to the India opportunity. You know, I used to then tell tell our team because team ko bhi motivate karna bahut jaruri hota hai SMA ke, you know, uh, let the Americans come and carpet bomb. We will be the guerrillas who will fight fight the war in the trenches. And that's what we did. Yes. We were always faster in launching new products like an Ola Auto or an Ola Bike or launching uh, post-paid services which were very valuable to customers or Ola Play. And we were more innovative, faster. We were more determined to win. Now that we are talking this, I want you to call out and say this because I know you hmm. uh, uh, much before Uber came to India yeah. and we heard about Uber, that Ola was not huh. after Uber. Not at all. Yeah, uh, when yeah, we yeah. started off 2010, uh, Uber was... Uh, we didn't even know about Uber. We started off as a website to book outstation travel. Ke, uh, you know, agar aapko Bangalore se Mysore Ola jana trips. hai. Uh, Ola trip. To Bangalore se Mysore jana hai ya Bombay se Pune jana hai. Cab, uh, cab use karni hai to Ola ke website pe hao. And then from there we had started a within city service also. Us time pe Meru hota tha. Hmm. But it was not technology savvy. Yes. Right? So we wanted to uh, build a digital technology savvy uh, uh, city service. And then uh, Uber was also getting built uh, at the same time, uh, yeah. pretty much. So our inspirations were always Indian, not uh, international. Yeah. But uh, eventually, as we grew and they grew, they came into India. We both learned from each other. We have auto, we have auto, we have postpaid, we have also equivalent. So in the end, in a common marketplace, each person learns from each other and tries to do better Makes than the, the other. Makes the yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. But the origins were very uh, independent. Yeah. And there's a broader point here, Shraddha, that, uh, and this is not just Ola's story. I think many Indian uh, entrepreneurs are truly original in their thought process. But because uh, these businesses on the surface level might seem that yeah, this is like people say that Ola Electric is so India ke Tesla. Ho kya. You miss the nuance when you do that simplistic analogy. You know, in that nuance, there is all life. There is a competitive advantage in that nuance. There is a nuance in that nuance. There is a nuance in that nuance. So, that is the difference. Hai. Cars are being built for 100 years. That's why someone invented a car category. Yeah. Right? So, we are also making cars. Yeah. But uh, our product segment is different. Our technology is different. Our inspiration is India. Hai. I, I don't know any entrepreneur who is saying that I am India's ex. Yeah. Right? Uh, maybe we all derive some inspiration from the world. But nobody wants to typecast themselves. And nobody does that. Do you see yourself uh, getting more in the fintech, you are in the fintech. We have a small space. play in yes, that yes, uh, as yes. part of our consumer business. Yes. Uh, we are, uh, our focus has always been there to uh, to focus on our ecosystem. Uh, we have two ecosystems, the ride hailing ecosystem and the EV, EV ecosystem. Huh. And we have so far focused our strategy on uh, making those two ecosystems easier for both consumers and suppliers. So for, uh, for example, on ride hailing, you can do Ola postpaid. When you use an Ola, you can pay later, buy now, pay later on the Ola ecosystem. We do some kind of lending for our drivers. We had acquired uh, this company called Avail, uh, which was my brother's company. They were one of the leading companies in blue collar lending. And we have uh, transformed, uh, we've taken that capability and used that to scale up driver lending for our uh, ride hailing drivers. Mm. Because we wanted to build more loyalty with our drivers. So, so uh, our financial services portfolio has that on ride hailing side. Then on the uh, Ola Electric side, we, do, we distribute uh, loans for our uh, EVs. We distribute insurance for our EVs. We are now getting into slowly beyond just distributing slowly, eventually we'll do our own NBFC, etc. Yeah. Part of the business So you are thinking about that? On our own balance sheet, yeah. a part of it. So we have a financial services footprint. Uh, we are growing that as our own ecosystems grow. Bhavish, it's so ambition continuously? My day is very fun. Okay, I spend most of my day with my technology teams and engineering teams. Uh, I do spend time on finance and business and all of that little bit on uh, marketing also, uh, but a majority of my time goes into technology and engineering. And in one day I would sit with uh, the silicon designer, uh, chip designer, same day I'll sit with Rajesh who is the material science expert, same day I'll sit with our uh, electronics engineering team. Uh, you know, this is so much, so much uh, exciting stuff happening in Ola. And because we have set up our ambitions very clearly, we have very a lot of clarity of vision for each company. And uh, we have very strong teams across all these uh, opportunities that we are going after, world-class teams. Uh, so so in, in that sense, my job is very easy. My job is to be the, uh, you know, instigator. <laughs> okay, why do you do you think? Why do you think? Be the first principles guy, be the entrepreneur, push people, pull people, 
energize them, uh, hire good people, put a vision in place, uh, and make sure we are not uh, meander, we're not going off rails in terms of execution. Yeah. And I really enjoy what I do every day. So there's no scope of getting tired. You know, but I want to ask is that many entrepreneurs I've met over the years, they also get tired. Uh. They also get sometimes bogged down. They also get, they lose, uh, uh. they go out of the playground. Uh. What is Nuska Bataye playground? Nuska is a big playground. Yeah, but I think if you have a lot of उनको पूरा करने की तो इच्छा रहती है ना मन में तो सपना इन द एंड इट्स अबाउट हाउ मच हंगर यू हैव एंड हाउ मच हाउ बिग योर ड्रीम इज एंड यू नो आई फील नॉट एवरी ड्रीम विल कम ट्रू बट इफ यू कीप बड़ा सोचोगे और उसकी तरफ फाइट मारते रहोगे तो यू विल नॉट गेट टायर्ड यू विल नॉट लीव द प्लेग्राउंड यू ऑन अ डेली लेवल समटाइम्स देर आर पीरियड्स व्हेन यू आर डाउन एंड देर आर पीरियड्स व्हेन यू वांट टू स्विच ऑफ फॉर अ व्हाइल बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी इज अ ह्यूमन but uh, the broader narrative is still very energizing. Yeah. If you have a clear purpose, your mission is clear, your dream is clear. And if you fight, you will not be able to live in your life. This time, you know, in, in, in the business world, this is the time for scale. Yes. This is not the time for small experimentation anymore. The country is growing fast. The world is in, getting into this era of convergence of technologies. This is the time when our startup ecosystem needs to hit scale. While 100 unicorns is great, we need to have 100 billion unicorns. Who have been people who mm. have anchored you and what are some of the things that you do to center mm. yourself? You know, you said something I really relate to, Shraddha, okay, uh, joy in the pain. You know, I also believe that the name of life is Sangharsh, right? Uh, yeah. Sangharsh, you will get a fall. Yeah. But you won't get a fall from the fall, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, and I have, you know, I've been very lucky in uh, in the value system that I was uh, given by parents, very middle class. Even now, my parents, abhi, last week I was with them in Ludhiana. They still live in Ludhiana, in the same home where our baby grew up. But uh, you know, even now when I go home, they always ask me, Ke, paisa bana hai ke bana hai? profit bana hai ke bana hai? <laughs> You know, I said, Papa, it's been 13 years, entrepreneur, abhi, aapke sol, chhod do. <laughs> nahin, nahin, but in the end, business will be uh, sustainable when profit will come. You know, your valuation and valuation are on your side. Pe hai. Huh. So he's, uh, you know, that value system Very of simple. focusing on the basics. Ke growing up, uh, we, you know, uh, most of most of us never had the, the best means, right? Yeah. But कभी भी किताब के लिए मना नहीं किया. कभी भी पढ़ाई के लिए जो भी चाहिए हो, class में success के लिए जो भी चाहिए हो, कभी मना नहीं किया माँबाप ने. But हाँ सबसे fancy गाड़ी नहीं थी हमारे पास, सबसे fancy कपड़े नहीं थे हमारे पास, right? But जो जरूरतें थी थी, जो सही सही मायने में जरूरतें थी, उनसे लिए कभी मना ही नहीं थी. So that value system is still there. Abhi wo hai ke beta koi, uh, koi problem hai batao, hum kaise help kar sakte hai tumhari. Right? So that value system. And then again, I got lucky. I'm, I'm a very lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky in the sense that uh, I have a really wonderful wife. You know, we dated for seven, eight years before we got married. You know, I have to tell you that there <laughs> I would say you are a lucky man because I had a very, 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 very long chat and what a phenomenally yeah. mature yeah. and how much he looks up to, uh, after so many years of marriage, <laughs> how much he looks up to you, <laughs> genuinely. No, she's, yeah. uh, you know, uh, I really feel, if uh, you support na mile na, hmm. you can't do what you do. Yeah. And uh, it is uh, not just support in a very uh, back-end sense. Right? Yeah. She's, uh, it's there every day, every day you go home, there is some kind of uh, stress or there is some kind of frustration and then you want somebody who understands, you want somebody who uh, and not just uh, understands but the other person makes a lot of sacrifice yeah. uh, for you to follow your dreams yeah. and, uh, and I'm sure this is not just my story, this is the story of uh, yeah, we, many entrepreneurs yes, where yes. Uh, the spouse has really stood by and uh, sacrificed and even uh, sacrificed a career or sacrificed things in personal life. And even my wife is from a very uh, uh, middle class upbringing. So, so that, that kind of, I'm, I'm a lucky man. And not just my, like my, I told you about my parents, my wife. I was lucky that I met uh, one of my mentors very early in life, uh, this, uh, TVG. Now, TVG is a, he is, a, you know, the world doesn't know of him. He's, you cannot Google him, you will find nothing on, on the internet. Uh, he's a very private person. Uh, but he is, uh, I met him in 2011 or 2012 in a coffee shop. Just uh, somebody introduced me, I met him and uh, 
I have learned so much from him. He is a Guruji. I call him Guruji actually. I have learned so much from him about everything, professional life, personal life. I think I have accelerated my growth by 10 years at least, just because he was there in my life. Mm. And uh, lately he's moved to the US to be with his uh, kids who are settled in the US. And I just miss him every day. <laughs> and you know what, I, I call him uh, in uh, March, I called him saying, TVG, I'm missing you. He's a 78 year old person, okay? He took the same day flight and came to meet me. Like same day flight. And then I, I asked him, I told him, TVG, in life mein bahut kaam chal raha hai and I'm, I, I need you here. Uh, and he just said, okay, Bhavish, I'm coming. Same day flight, he came for one and a half months, he was here. And his wife, who's also equally old, was living alone in the US wow. that period with, with her uh, children. Yeah. Your friend was telling me that hmm. uh, she was here with her husband and uh. Uh, uh, and you decided that we are going to movie and we are going to go like this. So, we got a ticket to the front row ka ticket mila. and we all sat and watched it and there was this uh, very enthousiasm, yeah. young enthusiasm yeah. which uh, one experienced. So, her thing was that you take out time, you yeah. ask, you uh, check on people hmm. who are uh, close to you. So, you also invest. Yeah. And I have also done those mistakes. I have done a lot of mistakes when I forgot about my own or sometimes uh, the rawness of passion comes across too much in a negative way. Uh, and uh, as I'm getting older, I'm getting some grey hair. There's a lot of negative hai, uh, hmm. Hmm. about you. Babish, if you have to look back, you know, from your hindsight hmm. of last 12 years, when Yes, hmm. you've got attention, but I think you have got the notorious attention yes. also a lot. Uh, if I start with the chronology of this, Sarda, and uh, because it used to really impact me very badly. Oh, it did. It, it did very uh, deeply. I used to be get. I used to get emotional about it because a lot of nasty things were also written. Yes, yes. Uh, and sometimes even my family used to get uh, dragged in. Even let's say somebody like a TVG was dragged in a few times, yeah. many times actually. Uh, and uh, at one, even uh, my brother was dragged in even before uh, we did the avail transaction. And uh, I remember once even my wife was dragged in, uh, you know, huh? so wow. because it gets very personal. Yeah. And uh, I am a relatively private person, uh, even though I'm, I'm uh, fairly straightforward, but I'm still fairly private. Uh, yeah. So I think it's, you know, it started off uh, with the competition with Uber, where yes. there was a lot of uh, uh, general anxiety about Ola's continuation as a success or as a as a company yeah uh, and at some point that turned into belief it started with anxiety turned into belief that Ola will die and then you know that had its own uh, so that was a business narrative with Uber then started an investor narrative at that point you might remember there was supposedly a fight with SoftBank and, uh, and, uh, you know, and other investors and notoriety <laughs> comes from the fact that I know what I want to do dunya ko lag raha hoga ki shayad ye galat hai shayad ye sahi hai kisi stakeholder ko lag raha hoga ye sahi hai galat hai but i am very honest about my purpose i am not i don't deviate from that and uh, neither do i uh, deviate i do negotiate and i do compromise in a negotiation uh, but in the broader arc of things i am moving where i believe is the right direction to go for my company for myself people sometimes uh, misconstrue that as uh, uh, okay, i am trying to do something weird <laughs> huh, but no, I'm just trying to uh, make sure uh, I'm putting the right framework in place on the cap table for my own uh, uh, safety and uh, success as well as for my investors' long-term clarity. Uh, so that's why we have set it up set up our businesses as um, as a group with a lot of clarity on each company, what its uh, existence is and what its uh, business will do. <clears throat> so you had SoftBank, you had Uber. Uh, so SoftBank, whoever, and you know, some investors are also smart. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, in that period of the aggressive fight with Uber, there were uh, investors who tried to arm twist a sale, uh, which I didn't let happen because I didn't get into this business to sell. Uh, yeah. you know, I've been very, I was very vocal about that. I'm not selling. I will never sell. I'm not in the business of selling. I'm in the business of buying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that might have come across as uh, at that point, you know, 2016, 17, who is going to And sometimes some of the, at that in that era, the narrative was driven overtly by the investor community because all, all entrepreneurs were uh, pretty much at the behest of the investor yes, community yes. because you were burning cash. Yes. And when that played out, I also decided, Ki, I don't want to get into that anymore. I want to stand on my own feet. And own feet means I want to make money. 
which is uh, when Ola pre COVID, we started focusing on uh, profitability. And uh, that's why we were able to survive COVID. Because mm. uh, even before COVID, we had uh, made the business into a very reasonable shape. And then COVID, hua, and you know, I also did, did that journey earlier than some of the peers in consumer internet. उसमें भी फिर नेगेटिविटी के एम्प्लॉज ऐसा बोल रहे हैं ऐसा बोल रहे हैं यहाँ पे ये है लोगों को निकाला जा रहा है कुछ हो रहा है क्या हो रहा है बिकॉज वी वर डूइंग द राइट थिंग वी वर डूइंग वी वर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट सस्टेनेबल जो अब हो रहा है सबके साथ ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ दिस स्केप्टिसिजम अबाउट माई जर्नी इज ऑल्सो अबाउट पीपल जस्ट गेटिंग टू नो मी सो ओवर द ईयर्स पहले यू नो देर वॉज आई रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ मीडिया आर्टिकल आई फोकेट विच पब्लिकेशन इट वॉज इन दैट आई वॉज शोन एज अ बॉक्सर शॉर्टकट लिया है बहुत देर तक बोलते थे कि चाइना से इम्पोर्ट होता है एंड mm. एंड uh, फिर हमने बोला लड़कियां हैं उनको लगा पीआर किया है तीन हजार लड़कियां हैं यहाँ पे स्कूटर में एक इंसिडेंट हुआ लोगों ने बोला अरे इसकी टेस्टिंग नहीं हुई है ये नहीं हुई है वो नहीं हुई है इट इज द बेस्ट टेस्टेड स्कूटर इतना हम आर में करते हैं आपने हमारा आज बैटरी इनोवेशन सेंटर yes. देखा उस स्केल का इंडिया में कुछ नहीं है उस क्वालिटी का इंडिया में कुछ नहीं है राइट right? हम वी रियली गो डीप बट बिकॉज यू नो एक नई चीज़ आएगी जब मार्केट में इशूज होंगे उसमें and i'm not trying to whitewash issues at all it's not my dna to do that yeah. i acknowledge my issues and i take them head on uh, and because of that uski scrutiny bhi zyada hoti hai because hum social media mein zyada present hain scrutiny bhi social media pe hoti hai some of these things are collateral uh, damages of our uh, approach also which yeah. is okay that's which modern world right, right? logon ko dikhe kitni mehnat jati hai iske piche to shayad log uh, itna bura na bole एंड कभी कभी दिल में लगता है कि यार लोगों को मेहनत क्यों नहीं दिख रही है बट इट्स ओके अगर नहीं दिख रही है तो कभी तो दिखेगी ना हमारा फर्ज है कि मेहनत करते रहें और कभी तो दिखेगी लोगों को मेहनत एंड आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू दिस वाई डू थिंक वी आर नॉट वेरी अप्रिशिएटिव ऑफ आर ओन हीरोज़ आई डोंट है माई इंस्परेशन वाइल्ड देर आर इंस्परेशन इन पीपल लाइक स्टीव जॉब्स even Elon Musk himself you know he's an inspirational person what he's doing uh even people like Jeff Bezos but i think there are bigger inspirations at home like look at how dhirubhai amani built his company and after that how mukesh amani has scaled it so so yes, large yes look at what uh, ratan tata who both of us know so yes, deeply look at yes. how he grew the tata group uh, into so many domains uh, look at what uh, uh mr murthy and nandan have been able to build and then the rest of the infosys uh, gang uh, within uh, you know what they have built and there are so many success stories in india and uh, we do celebrate uh, i think we do celebrate the past successes more than the newer ones you know i i don't think i am anywhere close to being spoken about in the same same league i have a journey to do i have uh, more scale to build i have more uh, uh, success to create and i have more impact to create sorry on on the previous point about how it used to impact me uh once uh, i was so sad with all this negative stuff this is maybe 2016 2017 so i went to my dad once and Haan. said uh, you know i went to ludhiana and said papa kaise main manage karu isko ke main to mere hisab se sahi niyat se kaam kar raha hu acha kaam kar raha hu jo mere hisab se sahi cheez hai wo kar raha hu uh, but log mere bare mein aisa kyun bolte hain <laughs> my dad is a interesting person so he made a filmy dialogue beta khud hi ko kar bulan de tana khuda tujhse puche bol teri raza kya very very hmm. deep no uh, in a way you know it's deep but it's hard to live up to no and you you feel uh, not recognized for what you are doing in and last 10 years it's yeah. a, a decade it's not a two decade journey even yeah. i'm also very excited about the ai stuff after i heard a talk by the open ai founder he said uh, that uh, we will build ai for the benefit of all humanity mm. and i asked myself a question ki whose definition of humanity is it the technical challenge of alignment in ai is a different challenge in india and uh, the challenge here is about multiple languages which yeah. need and the languages here are not only written they are verbal so the technology has to be different 
you know it's not just an llm which is a written it's text ai ke teen part hote hain vision speech and text hmm. llm is a text technology in teenon mein jab uh, ai hoga usko multimodal kehte hain so hmm. a lot of our languages are spoken yeah so we have to build speech ai technology for that uh, we have to build better vision technologies uh, agar autonomous ko india mein chalana hai indian roads are more data rich than western roads hmm. so the computational capacity that we have to build is higher in india but wo hame khud ka silicon design karna hai because indian ai is not only about the algorithm ai is about the the silicon and the chip on which it runs yeah like, yeah, uh, yeah yeah so and but these are all very heavy investment bhavish zindagi bana ka sapna aisa dekho ki zindagi pura na ho sake if i just build another uh, phone of the past i can't compete with an apple yeah, yeah. but if i change the technology itself yeah, if yeah. i build an ai driven edge device or if i build an ai technology with my own silicon i can challenge these guys because i'm building the future but many people said <clears> it's not going to be possible for us to build in india because to ya to karenge ya to karte karte mar jayenge theek hai there is do or do not there is yeah. no try yeah, babish <clears> on behalf of all the entrepreneurs i'm sure uh, <clears throat> they'll be curious <clears throat> ki how can they get you as an investor are yes. you investing are you planning to have a fund of yes. your own yeah मेरी जर्नी में श्रद्धा मैंने ज़्यादा एंजल इन्वेस्टिंग नहीं करी है अनलाइक सम ऑफ माय पीयर्स मैंने शुरू की थी थोड़ी सी दो चार पांच की थे फिर देन आई रियलाइज के ना मैं कोई ज़्यादा उन कंपनीज़ का आ, मैं टाइम दे पा रहा हूँ और ना ही आ, मेरे कैपिटल से उनको कुछ फ़र्क पड़ रहा है लाइक दे वुड बी बेटर सर्व बाई अदर ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स हु कैन गिव मोर टाइम एंड गाइडेंस बट विद इन आर डोमेन्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बी इट कंप्यूटिंग बी इट ई बी इट सेल or even consumer internet we have done investments and we continue to look for very interesting companies we can invest okay. in our investing philosophy is a little uh, uh, you know our, our philosophy is that agar kuch unique ho especially technology mein then we definitely invest or acquire okay we have invested in uh, one cell company in israel uh, which is which is built a very unique kind of fast charging cell wo uh, hmm. cell ke andar silicon use karte hain wo humne invest kiya We are looking for companies like this even in India, जिन्होंने कोई बहुत ही निश टेक्नोलॉजी बनाई हो आई पी बनाया हो विच वी कैन देन मेक यूज ऑफ एंड स्केल राइट एंड द कंपनी ऑल्सो बेनिफिट विद आर कैपिटल एंड मार्केट एक्सेस तो इस तरह का इंटरेस्टिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हम करते रहते हैं एक्विजिशन बहुत करते हैं अर्ली स्टेज एक्विजिशन हम काफ़ी करते हैं इवन इन द सिलिकन डोमेन वी वक्वायर्ड अ कपल ऑफ कंपनीज सिलिकन एन ए आई डोमेन Uh, in uh, in mapping we have acquired a company in our consumer business we built our own maps now mm. yes so we are replacing uh, google maps by our own maps uh, we <clears throat> in ev also we have acquired a few companies along our journey so we do a lot of acquisitions either for talent or technology ipo kab kar do kis company ka kis company ka sahi sawal ai wale ka to abhi nahi kar sakte ha to किस कंपनी का यू टर्न इलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रिक का मैं स्पेसिफिक तो नहीं बता सकता डेट बट पहले मैंने सोचा था बहुत टाइम लगेगा इलेक्ट्रिक को बट इट हैज ग्रोन वेरी फास्ट एंड विल डू इट सूनर देन लेटर यू हैव 40% ऑफ द मार्केट शेयर नो यस एंड ओला का भी आईपीओ हमने एक्चुअली uh, 2021 2022 में करने का सोचा था तो 2021 में हमने काफी प्रेप की थी एंड देन द मैक्रो एनवायरनमेंट टर्न सो वी डिसाइडेड टू पोस्टपोन द आईपीओ टू नेक्स्ट ईयर So, उसका आईपीओ भी हम सम टाइम नेक्स्ट ईयर करेंगे एंड एंड आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट यू विल बी फंड रेजिंग फॉर द अदर टू एआई एंड सेल एआई में तो सेल में तो अभी uh, अभी नहीं एआई में भी अभी आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग माय ओन मनी हां सो बट मे बी इन द फ्यूचर आई वाइट भविष्य व्हाट इज हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू फॉर मी हैप्पीनेस इज इट्स अबाउट फुलफिलिंग योर इनर क्यूरियोसिटी एंड एवरीबॉडी हैज सम लेवल ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी एंड अबाउट समथिंग which is different in everybody somebody might be very curious in the creative domains somebody might be very curious about uh, technology or somebody might be very interested in business right so happiness comes when you fulfill that desire in within you when you recognize that desire within you and you fulfill it yeah right nothing no outside thing can give you happiness yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do you feel alone have you I felt do. alone many times i feel uh, frequently i feel uh, professionally very lonely uh, I, as i was saying uh, you know i had tvg in you know tvg was is my thought partner and whenever i feel alone i just spend a day with him mm. and uh, without agenda so i'll go and uh, you know take him to a cafe or we'll go somewhere and you know we'll just talk about anything under the sun you know from uh, some book he's read or some book i have read or some issue in the business or some kisi ko bolna hai banda acha nahi kar raha hai so you know i'll download on him or or uh, about family or about 
spirituality or whatever right hmm. he, you know anything under the sun yeah uh and now, now he's also gone to the us <laughs> so, <laughs> so and i'm a person who needs that kind of uh, intellectual partner yeah because I, i'm i live in my thoughts a lot right so so i i miss that uh, and i do feel uh, alone but i think i'm i'm not the only one in in feeling alone i think many entrepreneurs do feel alone a lot of entrepreneurs feel and yeah. lot of young people i meet mm. today are feeling far more alone and it mm. surprises me that uh, with so many people so many mm. opportunities itne sare connections ke baad bhi aaj log alone feel kar rahe hain i hope uh, modern technology can lead us to a way where uh, it doesn't amplify loneliness uh, you know like if we just make all these ai chatbots and we all are interacting with those chatbots all the time yeah so that will amplify loneliness yes. and that's that might happen but i would rather use modern technology to uh, bring closeness yeah right like uh, i would rather build an autonomous vehicle which can take you to a lo- to your loved one faster yeah <laughs> right? or, or build a drone right? yeah uh, or uh, allow ai to uh, have a video call in places where it is not possible uh, technology is always a twin edged sword any technology right it can be used for destructive purposes it can be used for uh, constructive purposes do you see yourself in politics <laughs> no in life my skill sets and my journey in life is uh, technology and business and entrepreneurship that's what i know well and i feel i can uh, contribute to society with this skill set that i have and i want to contribute deeper and deeper build larger and larger uh, uh, businesses build future technologies and uh, you know that's where that's my dharm right uh, i should be true to myself aaj legacy kya create kar rahe hain to kya kahenge maine shraddha i don't think maine abhi legacy ke bare mein socha hai main bahut abhi early journey mein hu apni to think about legacy but uh, जो मेरा मेरे ख्याल से जो हम कर रहे हैं वो एक टेक्नोलॉजी ओरिएंटेड फ्यूचर बिजनेस बनाने यू नो वे ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड टेक्नोलॉजी ओरिएंटेड फ्यूचर बिजनेसेस राइट विच आर विच कैन हैव लार्ज स्केल फ्यूचर ग्लोबल इंपैक्ट तो होपफुली दैट बिकम्स अ लेगेसी फॉर अस बट राइट नाउ वी आर टू अर्ली फॉर इट टू बी आर एग्जिस्टिंग लेगेसी आई थिंक आर एग्जिस्टिंग लेगेसी इज वी हैव बीन एबल टू स्टैंड आर ओन अगेंस्ट ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटिशन इन वन डोमेन एंड बीन एबल टू ब्रिंग a complete disruption in another domain right? this is the extent of our legacy today how attached hmm. are you to your every day of building this <laughs> and how detached do you get hmm. you know as you build new new businesses yeah i don't think moh maya ka jaal hai hmm. usme to nahi phase hain bilkul nahi nahi i don't think moh maya ke jaal mein phase hain but sapno ke jaal mein zarur phase hain ek bhai sapna dekho agar yes jab tak pura nahi hota na aap phase rehte ho usme and wo andar se khaya jata rehta hai aapko yes ye एंड काफी बारी जरूरी भी होता है कि उसको छोड़ दो राइट yeah. right? वो सपना कल दोबारा देखेंगे किसी और कॉन्टेक्स uh, में देखेंगे एंड yeah. uh, सपने भी हमने देखे हैं कुछ पूरे हुए हैं कुछ पूरे नहीं भी हुए हैं एंड uh, कुछ हमने छोड़ दिए कभी फ्यूचर uh, में अगर मौका मिला तो दोबारा देखेंगे उनको बट uh, हाँ बहुत मुश्किल होता है अपना अपने ही जो दिमाग में जो हम सपनों का ख्याली पुलाव बनाते रहते हैं ना uh, उससे बाहर निकलना उसकी ऑब्जेक्टिविटी देखना yeah. uh, It's a constant process, and that's where me ko lagta hai because I have some people who are very honest with me around me. It helps me to course correct faster than uh, not faster, right? And but mistakes happen uh, sometimes. You know, attachment is a. जितना आप attached रहोगे, in the end mistakes हो सकती हैं कि आप बहुत ज़्यादा attached हो जाओ, but बिना attachment के passion भी नहीं आता. वही वही. That's why it's such a. That's why I'm asking you this. हाँ, uh, it's like वो. the firefly has to go to the fire right yes. so an entrepreneur has to go to a dream yes right uh, you have to you're only driven by a dream and uh, but you can get consumed by it or you can fly around it yeah <laughs> and sometimes both happens i i would say sada i would really like to thank you you know you have been a dear friend for 12 years uh, yes. and uh, i have uh, and and uh, you know i have always said this and i want to reiterate it today that you are such a such a important part of the indian startup ecosystem you shine such a positive bright light on everybody around you and uh, and i you know i have really enjoyed today's conversation you took such time out to do the to to learn about my past you talked spoke to my friends and my wife and everybody you came here you saw what we've built and uh, you know you know because bhavish and you i don't know again i'm going on record to say this is uh, Uh, and I don't want to mince words because I've known you since 12 years, and I see such honesty in you. Mm. I see honesty. 
I see clarity of thinking hmm. from hmm. very beginning that you came. मतलब एकदम ऐसे लग रहा है अरे मतलब and that can come across as oh my god he's so arrogant or rude but such yeah. clarity of thinking and most importantly which I said I always see a very positive child hmm. who's trying to do things <laughs> that's that yeah. is you and that you will remain. I think it's our duty, your duty. Thank you for taking up <laughs> time. That we need to talk. We yeah. need you we to, need to yeah. uh, uh, talk more yeah. because uh, who knows this will yeah. inspire people no, so much. Absolutely, and I'm normally a little reticent. Uh, well, yeah, I heard you have stage fright, and I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't think I have stage fright, but I I am generally a shy guy. Yeah, I'm generally that I'm heard, reticent yeah. and uh, introverted, uh, but I'm. I like to talk, as you can see. And we had a lovely, what a yes. meaningful conversation. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful conversation. Uh, so much, and look forward to uh, many more. Thank you, Sada. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>